Morning! It's looking autumnal today. It's almost a little bit chilly. Um, we've got some cattle to take up straight away now. And I am nearly late, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. In fact, that's when I'm just reversing the lorry now, so. Right, I'm on it. Right, so we got these guys loaded and it's Meal's gonna be taking them this morning. Oh, I'm on it. Get climbed into here and off we go. Well, before I go, all the cows have come up this end. Hey, fellas. How we doing? Quick call to Whippen Farm Services because I need some duct tape to fix my drill. I've got my duct tape and we're back in the yard now. So I can fix the drill and I might be able to go and drill some uh, grass seed today. A lot of potato harvesters uh, moving up and down the A1 so it must be dry enough. So yeah, I'll get out with the drill I think and, uh, and drill this grass seed. Cheers! His car's fixed, but his phone's broken. No answer. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> no answer. Oh, it's good to see you, Ash. I'm gonna fix my drill in a minute. Need some of this. It looks like these guys are doing some vaccinating and worming, which is good. So he's black polo on today, but he's not happy. So it's already covered. He wants a different colour. What colour should we have? Navy. <laughs> Navy? Is that what you want? What did you say? It's the same as what, isn't it? What is? Blue, blue still shows up on No, you, what was the words that you said? It's the what, isn't it? What? Navy. <laughs> the yeah, what? I thought you got a black coat on, to be honest, Em. I was just looking at Em's socks today. The red <laughs> Business. Like this with my little boots on, because it's all. <laughs> I down, I got to the other one, I don't know. Very good. Well, Andy's just going to get some hay to put out now. Me and Ash are going to go tape this up. No, I'm just going to tape it up. Here's the look. Oh, we're going to get this drill fired up. And the 7530 base. Sounds like crap. <laughs> Me and Ash are going to try and do is we're dismantling the pipe first of all, seeing if we've got enough length on this to actually reach to the uh, to the bottom. Hopefully we have. If not, we've got to use duct tape and duct tape it together. This good bit is getting this to go up. Oh. That's too easy. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is literally too easy. It's clipped in though, isn't it? Yeah. It has that clip on it though. Why do you think that holds it? <clears throat> well, there's enough room now, if you want. Have you got a, uh, what they call it, clip? Jubilee clip. Jubilee clip. Jubilee clip that. And put that on the, on the top of it. I don't know how far that, yeah. You've got enough room for a jubilee clip in there. Yeah, so you right. You don't have to go all the way up, do you? No, I suppose not. I'll have a look, see what we've got. You go there. We, we lubed it right up like. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like covered in WD-40. Oh, well, <laughs> it was Asher's suggestion that. He says it works really well. <laughs> the only thing I've been told. The only thing I've been told, yeah. So with a bit of messing about, we've got it on. Hopefully that should uh, should work, otherwise we'd have, if we didn't have that in, we'd have a stripe where there weren't any grass, which would look a bit of a mess. So, glad we've got that sorted. Get this out, my brother's been using it. That's the new roll pin, is it? Mm. Piece of dodgy wire. Good job we spotted that. It's bent If that goes bang like, it's gonna make a mess on the road. Or anywhere. Andy's got it out. The uh, really powerful roll pin that was in there. And this, oh yeah, I don't lose the spring. It's just like got a mechanism on it that holds the ball in. 
I'm just dismantling the um, top link because it was you know, it's getting a bit rusty so we'll just wire brush it and clean it up a bit and then put it back together. We've got the parts out now and we're just going to blow the crap out of the... Uh, then we should hopefully have a nice working top link. So check that out now. That one didn't move before and that's why the roll pin broke and a bit of copper grease, bit of WD-40. We fixed it. Business. What's up? You got some new makeup on today? Yeah. On your forehead? <laughs> There's a li line of dust on your forehead. <laughs> so look. Oh gone. So it's still loading, is it, Em? It's not working. Technicalities. Uh, have you tried turn just turn it off? No, no, not yet. Turn it off for like 20 seconds. Counts to 20. Mm. <laughs> Normally what I would do um, is I would calibrate the drill. So we would um, take that off, you can put a tray underneath it, you wind it 35 times, and you put it into the computer and it'll give you your seed rate. But today I am drilling one. 20 kilogram bag of grass seed so I'm just going to go off the settings that it gives in the book which says it needs to be on number 10 around about number 10 eight, between 8, 9 and 10 so let's put on the highest we're on 10 and we'll go and drill it out and I'll just keep checking on it and make sure it's alright but it should be this is the stuff that we're putting in rye grass seed um, I don't think it's got anything else in it has it Ash? it's just rye grass sometimes we put, put clover in as well but it's just a patching up job, so um, where the uh, where Yorkshire Water have dug up across the field, I'm just going to patch that bit up. So let's use this. I was about to say what Em's doing. So she's got the mill on this morning, milling up the barley and the wheat into um, mill stuff that the cows can eat. Cows. At that um, hole, without it being smashed, it just goes straight through. A bit like if we eat sweet corn. Um, so yeah, we need to smash it so then you can get to the um, to the white bits in the seed, which has got the energy in it. So yeah, that's why we do a lot of milling, and it's dusty because it's like making flour. Right, I need to get a laptop, and I'm off back into the house for my dinner. I've just had my dinner, so we're off with the drill on to get this grass seed in. Get set off. Oh, we're here where they've done, so I think they've had a compound here, and then they've dug the sewer up across there. Going across into the next field and across again, so we've got a bit of patching up to do in here. Oh, I'm getting a fair bit done now. Just three or four runs up and down here, we'll get that sorted. Now I've got to open one of these bags, like these are honestly a nightmare. Andy's um, having a bit of a nightmare, he's done a flail on the mower, uh, on the hedge cutter sorry. So it's running out of balance, so, so just take it back up to the farm and get it fixed. Check this out though, I've managed to do it. Oh, is that not beautiful? All gone. Full of grass seed, so we'll put half a bag in and uh, we'll see how we get get on. So I don't really want to be emptying it out too much. Andy's been hedge cutting these uh, hedges here, of course. Give her a bit of a bashing, Andy. But keeping her at a more normal height. Oh, this is going to be a killer. We've got an extra um, manhole here. At least it's a shallow one. To damage any mowers with that one, hopefully. So the reason they had to dig all this up was because there was um, some kind of fault in the pipe around here, and it was just putting raw sewage onto the uh, onto the field. This were all wet through. Um, but uh, 
I don't know, maybe it's made the grass grow a bit better because that looks like there's actually some grass down there and there isn't that much up at this end. It's not grown at all. It's not worth a cut anyway. Where we'd normally take a second cut off this. So I thought I'd just give you a quick show around the drill and how it works. So what we've got at the front, this is a power harrow combination. So it's got the power harrow at the front, these spin round and they're smashing the soil together to break it up into a nice tilth. Then we've got the packer roller on the back with the spikes on it that consolidates the soil a little bit and also breaks up a few more lumps. Then we've got the coulters. These are called Suffolk coulters, these. So seed comes down these tubes, which I'll show you a bit in a minute, and then down into the soil at a set depth. Uh, and that's blown through a fan. So we have got a big fan there, which is blowing air into the seed box. It's then metered out by these things. So they're metering out the amount of grass seed we need to go down onto here. And then in this box here, it gets blown and distributed down these pipes. Markers either side that we can drop down and then that'll show us where we need to run with the tractor. I'm not using them today because it's just like this wide. So um, I don't need to be particularly accurate. And these ones at the back here uh, for if we were doing a tram line, it shows it puts a mark in the soil so then we can follow it um, when we come to spray it or fertilize it. Computer in the tractor and it alters this gearing system here to um, meter out different amounts. So if we wanted more on, we could increase the gear size and it'll, it'll um, put out more seed or less in it if we want to put less on. It's a pretty old one really. Um, quite simple, basic. You can get a lot, lot fancier drills than that. But um, for us, it just wouldn't make sense to, uh, to be spending an absolute fortune on a drill when we've not got a great deal of land to use it on. So um, yeah, we just have to do things that make sense and, and that will make sense for us. Getting to the point now where I'm thinking I wouldn't mind getting a new three meter power accommodation um, or something of a similar sort. Um, yeah, just cause my dad seems to get his new things. So I'd like my new things. But um, yeah, we'll have to yeah, see how that goes maybe. Get some demos first, eh? <laughs> That's about it. All the job is done. So I just gotta wait and see if it comes up. Might go and roll it actually. Uh, I'll get Ash to come down with rollers. Check out my t shirt, Angry Contract, all the blogs. Business. As I speak, Andy's back. With the hedge cutter. got his flail back on and uh, should be back up and running now. Business. Off he trots. And now it's a case of blowing the crap off the drill and all the grass seed so that we don't take any grass into our wheat and barley that we'll be planting soon enough. Sam's been catching up on the last um, movements of the Queen. Yes. Ready, ready, she's all up. Mmm. Look at them all. It's busy, isn't it? Oh, there's like, they recommend the hours, the wasting time to see her is 30 hours. 30 hours, jeez. <laughs> He's got to walk backwards for a full 20 minutes. Backwards? Yeah, he's going, he's going backwards there watching. Why, was it a conductor? Yeah. Oh, jeez. This time, Ash has got his car back for one. Oh, he's got his bumper! Ha <laughs> ha Business! So I'm back at the straw stack now. I'm just about to fill up the trailer with straw. Me and Ash go and get the rollers on. I was just gonna have to come around and move this stuff. Oh, we've got them all greased up now. I'm gonna be honest with it. 
Yeah, I forgot to click my fingers, but the uh, trailer's full. It's strong. Got the field, we take these struts off because they want to make sure that if the ram failed for any reason, they wouldn't fall down on the road. We've done that. Then I'll have to just um, let the rollers down, and then there's a couple of other pins we need to take out, then we can get rolling. So the idea with the rollers is we are one, we're compacting the ground down. We don't usually go in reverse like this, but I'm having to get right up to the gates. Um, we're compacting the ground down, and we're also making seed to soil contact. So pressing it around the seed. The key with rolling is going nice and steady. It's easy to go fast. Um, we're making a good job is when it's going slow and it's not it's giving it time to compact the ground rather than bouncing over the bumps. We could easily be doing like 15, 20 k. You know, there's no holding back on the tractor. Well, that's um, it. Just wouldn't be doing a job. It wouldn't be doing the job that it's meant to be doing. Also does is flattens down the ground a little bit. If there's any undulations. Also, if there's any stones, it will push them in. So um, when we're mowing it, we're not going to be uh, running into stones and, uh, and flicking those up if it's rolled properly. We've not got much to do, and it'd be easy if I could just drive straight through that ditch. Um, wouldn't take me no time at all, but um, it's there. I'm back in the yard now, time to put the 7530 back to bed, I think. I've dropped the um, rolls off already. So, Ash has had to repair my um, family heirloom yeah, I don't know fork. Snapped it, snapped it. Um, but yeah, he's just trying to repair it now. You just getting his hammer there. <laughs> um, Andy's still edge cutting. I've got to go off in uh, Blue Scania and pick up some cows. I'm going to end the video here because it's going to be, it's mammoth one tonight. It's like 17 minutes, 18, 19 minutes long. I know, probably by the time I've finished rambling on. So if you've liked today's video, what do you need to do, him? Like, comment, subscribe. And all that business. Um, Ash has even gone to the brand um, of putting his sticker on the back of the car, haven't you? It's been on a bit, that. Oh, I've only noticed it today, I do notice it. Well, I hadn't a car for like... Ever. Oh, wait. Land Rover, I thought, I'm not. Land Rover, I thought. Yeah, they've, they've seen it. Right, anyway, bye for now! Doo -doo -doo.